Hey again, guys, how you doing? Uh, last video got cut off a little short because my finger caught my uh, little cord here uh, while I was doing dishes. Phone didn't go in the water though, so ha ha. Uh, <laughs> probably, probably not gonna wear the, the headphones while I'm doing the dishes uh, anymore. I was just like literally right after it happened, I was like, I could have set this mic up so that uh, it was recording me. It would have been totally fine. Oh well. Uh, um, out here with my little dog. He's having a little sniff over here. Oh, you find a pile of poo, buddy? Yeah, you did. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's a good little boy. Ugh, people not picking up their poo. Come on, people, pick up your poo. Pick up your poo, right? You know, it's, it's easy to do. You just need to have a little baggie, pick up your poo. Uh, this is a service announcement from Jonathan Michael Sanderson. Pick up your poo. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to expand, expound, ex, ex, expand, there's the word. I want to expand a little bit on uh, what I was saying before. Uh, capitalism is clearly a death cult. Uh, its uh, proponents and supporters are now talking about uh, uh, sacrificing millions of people in a genocide to, uh, the, uh, to keep the line going up, stonks, right? To keep everything going on. Basically, the equation is uh, millions of people will die, but uh, I will make more money, therefore it is good. Uh, this sort of uh, rapacious, uh, uh, irresponsible, irredeemable, uh, uh, fascistic position that says uh, human life is worth less than uh, a line going up uh, or an uh, imaginary number uh, increasing in my portfolio like I, I i i said in the last video and i think it's it bears repeating and it should become common uh the proponents of capitalism are now sociopaths right like we can say very cleanly uh if if you're at the top of the capitalist chain it's because you're a sociopath who has done something sociopathic clearly uh if you are supporting these sociopaths, my question becomes why? Uh, why are you still supporting uh, obvious sociopaths who are obviously deriving pleasure from uh, the suffering of millions of people? I mean, why else do you think obvious things have not happened? Like, why else? There's, there's this sort of conversation point where people say, Oh, it's the profit motive, right? That's the problem. There's this profit motive going on. The capitalist structures only exist for profit. And so everything will be structured in such a way to uh, increase the profits. And that a side effect of this is that the, uh, uh, there, there's people who suffer in, in a system that's not designed properly. So you have these sort of quote unquote, well-meaning people who these well-meaning people who uh, have just stumbled on a system that is bad and doesn't work. And so there, and people just resist change, right? So that's, even though there are systems that are better, we can all objectively see it, uh, they're just resisting the change. Uh, I'd like to shift that. I'd like to shift that narrative uh, uh, pretty drastically. Not, not, it's not even that drastic, honestly. Uh, it's really easy to Milo, Milo, come on, buddy. Good boy. Uh, if you have a plague that comes through your society, that's bad economics, right? Like it's, it's gonna be bad for your bottom line and that's obvious. Milo, come out of there, buddy. Milo, come out of there. I don't even, come out of there. Come on, come on, let's go. Good boy, buddy. Uh, sorry about that, guys. My dog getting, uh, getting into somebody's yard. Uh, so it's really easy to see that there's this sort of desire on, uh, uh, for people who are against capitalism to still believe that capitalists, oh, you know, they're, they're well-meaning folk who sure their system is a complete and abject failure, uh, obviously. Uh, a failure not not even for a small segment of the populace, for the vast majority of the populace. Uh, more and more people, this coronavirus is especially uh, beginning to wake people up, but you know what, these people are well-meaning, 
all of this. Nope, time to wake up, time to get over it. Uh, the proponents of capitalism are not well-meaning people. They want you to suffer, they are enjoying your suffering. Uh, it's very clear. Why, why are they resisting? Uh, uh, why are they resisting changes to the system that is causing so much suffering? Because they are enjoying it. It's time to, it's time to really start talking seriously, right? It's time to really talk seriously about this. The reason why they're maintaining, the reason why they're maintaining these systems is not because uh, they believe it will make them more profit, but because it, it, because they believe it will cause more suffering. That, that, uh, uh, and if it benefits them financially, that's good too, right? But I think the primary source of their uh, concern is whether or not it hurts other people, whether or not it causes other people problems. Uh, and anybody who disagrees with that uh, really has to face up to the fact that capitalist systems hurt people by design. Like, that's the point. There's a good boy, buddy. There's a good boy, buddy. Come on. I need to start asking, like, why are we allowing, or why do capitalists, in their pursuit of this profit, uh, uh, this profit model, for profit model, uh, why do they always put preference on systems that cause problems and systems that cause harm uh, over systems that do not? And I don't think that, well, it benefits them is enough because I think that, like if I looked at something and I said, well, I make $10 million if I abandon the populace to a voracious pack of middlemen who don't care about them and will cause them harm, or I make $9 million uh, with a system that actually helps everyone, uh, uh, alleviates a lot of anxiety and tension in the society. Uh, I think if I have a soul, uh, and if I'm a, a decent human being, uh, I'm going to pick the $9 million option, right? Like, I'm still making $9 million. This is the thing with all these sort of socialist uh, 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 examples or socialist suggestions that are coming out, is that it doesn't make you poor, right? It makes you slightly less rich. Like, slightly less rich. We're talking about the difference between, like, a guy having $5 billion and having $4 billion. Right? So there comes a point where the profit model isn't good enough, right? And there just comes a point where you have to look it in the face and you have to call it for what it is and you have to say that the cruelty is the point. The purpose of these policy decisions, the purpose of these ideas, the purpose of all of this is to get off causing people pain. That's the goal. Right? And I mean, America has a rich history of this. Uh, uh, the, uh, and capitalism has a rich history of this. If, uh, uh, if you're a slave owner, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't buy into this idea that there are these slave owners who are buying slaves and having them whipped and having them fight each other. Uh, and buying into this idea that there was a good slave owner somewhere, right? Like... These people get off on uh, subjugation, on oppression. They get off on it. And they are seeking to uh, inflict the society with it on a massive scale. Uh, if you're a sociopath, even the suggestion, I was saying this in the last video, even the suggestion that uh, we could just let the coronavirus come through and cause a genocide, right? Even that suggestion is, uh, has got to drive pleasure in a sociopath because uh, uh, that's where they find uh, uh, enjoyment is through the misery of others uh, or through killing others, right? Like really imagine, really imagine what it means to a, to a sociopath. Really imagine what it means to be put in this position where you could kill millions of people with no consequences. That's the other thing. There's no consequences for these people, right? We're not gonna, like, 
it's becoming more and more plain that uh, Americans are not going to stand up for themselves. It's becoming more and more obvious that they're not going to arm themselves and uh, uh, form militias and fight back. Like, that's, that's not going to happen. And so the sociopaths can just do what they want, right? And there are sociopaths in the uh, uh, Democratic Party, too. Why do you think the Democrats are working so hard to get in the way? To stand in the way of all of this legislation to help people, right? You have, you have this sort of one-time payment thing being offered, and then they want to put in means testing, and they want to exclude the poor, and they want to exclude all this kind of stuff. What do you think that's for, right? It's because they want to spread misery. That's the goal. And they don't actually care about doing anything else. And the, uh, uh, and it's so baked into the way that they think that they think it's normal. They, they've come to believe that they're the normal ones, right? That, that's the big thing, is that capitalism has become so pernicious and the propaganda system so subservient to a, a handful of narcissistic sociopaths that were so bombarded with this media that says like, oh yeah, this is normal. It's normal to, to be a sociopath. Why aren't you more like a sociopath, right? When they ask, when they say things like that, when they make these sort of statements uh, of individualism and all of this, really you can boil it into uh, why, why aren't you acting more like a sociopath would act? Why don't you just abandon everyone you love for money? Like, I don't understand. What, why don't you just sacrifice your grandparents to the coronavirus so that they can die choking on their own blood uh, so that our stock portfolios improve? Come on, why don't you act more like a sociopath? That's what we've been doing, right? That's what the capitalists have been doing. They've been doing it for centuries. <laughs> Right? You don't commit a genocide against the First Nations people unless you're a fucking pack of sociopaths. You don't, uh, uh, com you don't enslave an entire race to have them do your work for you and then ignore it when, it's, uh, uh, when it comes time to actually pay attention to this sort of thing. This uh, repugnant, evil behavior has been going on in America for hundreds of years. Uh, and... There's this, uh, there's this real uh, desire in, uh, among the left and among people who resist this, amongst the workers, amongst the unions, to sort of pretend like everyone has their best interests at heart. The Democrats are trying to play this unity game where they're saying like, oh, we need to be unified uh, what they really mean is you need to be subservient to the sociopaths, right? And it's obvious they're sociopaths. Oh, I just feel like I'm repeating that over and over and over again. It must be so boring if you're actually listening to this. And I, I, I just think that, that kind of thing needs to be normalized. We need to normalize it. We need to normalize it and we need to abandon the sociopaths. We need to organize against the sociopaths. We need to keep fighting against them. And we need to be very clear, right? We need to be very clear that uh, uh, these people are sociopaths. That needs to be common. Like, we should be saying capitalist sociopaths because they're in a death cult. Like, uh, that we've allowed take control, right? They've, uh, uh, the capitalist death cultists have allied with the Christian fascists, i.e. the evangelicals in the South, and they've taken over. And it's not going to be too much longer. Uh, uh, what's going to be terrifying to witness? Because this is exactly how it's going to play out. Is that uh, these death cultists, right? They're about to go into an election. Uh, and it's probably going to be uh, uh, f a friend of theirs, a uh, uh, fellow fascist, Joe Biden, who they're going to go up against. And Joe Biden is just showing how uh, demented he actually is. Like... He's a liar uh, uh, who has obvious dementia. Uh, he can't keep truth separated from reality any longer, or he can't keep his lies straight anymore. So he's not even trying, right? He's just telling bald faced lies. Uh, and the Trump campaign, right? Because of how poorly the Democrats have actually 
uh, uh, been acting, right? They've, they're just going to hand him the next election. And what this is going to do in America is it's going to entrench these ideas, right? If Trump was a one-term president, right? Like if Trump gets in uh, uh, rallying around him, the fascists, the death cultists, right? All of these people. And if, if he was to rally all of, uh, uh, if he rallies all these people together, uh, but then the left coalesces around a figure like uh, uh, AOC or a figure like Bernie Sanders, and actually manages to get him into a position of power to dethrone Trump in a one-term presidency, then that's a, uh, that's a very clear message, not only internally, but also to the rest of the world, that, oh, hey, we elected this uh, 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 game show host fascist who is obviously incompetent, obviously ill-suited for the job, but you know what? We're going to bounce right off of that. We don't believe in those principles. You know, not here in America, not my America. We're going uh, we're gonna to fight back against that. We're going to push it. And so then you follow through with a narrative uh, of, uh, you know, of growth, of continual change. Uh, you can say, like, you know what? We had this really weird uh, moment between Hillary and Trump, and that resolved itself. And then we take a look at our... Uh, system and we say you know what that's not the path we want to go down but when trump wins his second election right so instead of that they're going to give trump a second term and what that basically says to internally and the rest of the world is that these sociopathic fascists are what we want right that's what we're going for we 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 demand the rise of another fascist figure uh, we demand it we're going to support that and that's what we're going to do and it's it's very plain to to see to, for anyone that what would happen in a second term trump presidency is this sort of they would 100 percent treat it as an affirmation of their power that uh there are no consequences for our overt uh racism there are no consequences for our overt uh, attacks uh, against institutions, against these sorts of things. There are no consequences whatsoever for the, the internal calls for genocide against our own people. And the, the terror that that brings. Just imagine even the, 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 the terror of the suggestion of what they're talking about. Like, you, you want to talk about a terrorist activity, that's terrorism, right? Like telling people that we're just going to let them die, let them go. It's, uh, it's exactly the thing a sociopathic fascist would say. Uh, and my hope is that we will never let up on this. I, I actually feel like these quotes and these statements should be enshrined in the consciousness of, uh, uh, of our country, here in Canada as much as in the United States, because this is what capitalism breeds. It rewards and it breeds sociopaths. And the people who are in power, they do not care about you. They care about maintaining their own power. And if they have to appear as though they're not sociopaths, like, take a look at something like Dexter. Dexter's great. Dexter wasn't walking around being like, I'm a psychopath, I like to kill people, right? He was keeping that on the DL. He was keeping that way underground, right? Doing it on the side, right? But it was always there. It was always a primary motivation for him. But he didn't let anybody know about it. Well, now, Hopefully, millions of people are starting to wake up and realize, oh wait, Dexter was a psychopath, right? He was a serial killing, like mass murderer. And I hope that they're turning to their government and they're starting to say the same thing. That like, oh hey, these corporate interests that you serve, as well as yourselves, are obviously sociopaths. Like... I don't know why we need to pretend about this. And the fact that the 
Democrats are just going along with it. That's the big thing to me. Like, if, if America actually had a democracy, which it doesn't, it has a facade of democracy, then long before Donald Trump, uh, long before the COVID-19 virus, rather, there would be a serious threat to the Trump administration. But now that with the COVID-19 virus, now with the things that have been said that cannot be unsaid, now that those things are out in the world, uh, the, the left, honestly, shouldn't even be the left. The centrists and the moderate right, everyone right of, everyone to the left of fascism should 100% dump the Republicans, move to the Democratic Party, uh, uh, without a doubt. It should be a mass movement. It should be a mass abandonment of fascism. But uh, the Democrats have played ball. They've completely gone along with this uh, uh, fascist uh, party and this fascist uh, uh, regime. Regime? But fascist... Uh, uh, the word is escaping me, that's going to bother me. Anyway, they've completely gone along with it. Uh, they've given money to them constantly to engage in longer and more pro protracted warfare. They're, they're giving, and then they're standing in the way of anything that would actually help the American worker and the American poor. And this kind of sociopathic behavior that is internal and seems natural in the Democratic Party uh, is, uh, is showing and is signaling to the rest of America that there is no one to vote for. If you want to be against fascism in America, it means you need to be in the street. It's as simple as that. It means that you need to find a mask, you need to put the mask on, you need to get into the street, right? Because, uh, you're going to get the COVID-19 virus anyway if you live in America, right? People are not self-isolating. People are not taking the crisis seriously. Uh, and by people, I mean Donald Trump telling people, well, we're going to be open by Easter and all this kind of nonsense, right? They're not taking it seriously. And even, even that lackadaisical kind of position by the Trump administration, if you want to believe that it is sort of just a lackadaisical incompetence, instead of a desire to maximize harm, which is what I believe, uh, then, uh, then it's without a doubt going to be the case that e everybody in America is going to get this thing. Everybody in America is going to get this thing. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be a disaster. Uh, it's going to have massive problems. Like, I, I don't understand how, if I'm living in Florida, which is going to become the new epicenter of this, by the way, it's where all the old people live, right? And it's where all the beaches are, right? You don't need, you, you just need to take pictures of, the, uh, of what's going on in the beaches with all those idiotic kids being like, oh, I don't care if I get COVID, that's fine. Well, it's gonna rip through the elderly population in Florida. Uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a, a horror show. And when it happens, our media is going to fall back into, oh, they're so incompetent. And that's the line that they're going to feed you. They're going to say, oh, this is incompetence. You're just, what a, what a bunch of idiotic boobs, right? They saw this coming. They could have done something, but, but they're just so stupid. It's what they did with the Bush administration, right? Oh, what a mistake. What a blunder. What, a, what an error. It's not a mistake. It's not a blunder. It's not, it's not an error. It's not... It's not a miscalculation of judgment, okay? These people want to hurt people. That's what they are doing. They are desiring and they derive pleasure from the pain of others. That I, I, we don't need to pretend about it anymore. And, and, and we don't need to wave our hand and go, oh, dearie me, what are you suggesting, right? It's right in front of your face. It's right in front of your face. And you should be organizing. You should be organizing, you should be coalescing, you should be getting everyone together. 
to overthrow these guys. Like, they're going to lead you to complete disaster and they're totally fine with uh, 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 allowing a virus to rip through and murder the elderly. Like, they're, they're fine with that. That's their preference, in fact. Uh, all right. Well, I'm out of time, so. Doom and gloom, it looks like. Hope you guys are all doing well out there. Keep fighting the good fight. You have an ally here. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Do your best. I love you. Have fun if you can.